So in this lesson, we are finalizing the application that we've been building where we've got a spreadsheet with a first, last, and email value. So we can go into the spreadsheet, select the row for the user that we want to send an email to, and then click the button within the UI where we can click approve. And that's actually gonna send out an email. So we get the confirmation whether we wanna send it to Lawrence Six. And if we do, then it goes to sent. Once the email is sent, we can check our inbox and we've sent an email to Lawrence Six. And this is the email template that we're using. You can of course customize the template as needed. So that's sitting under the temp.html and just using regular standard HTML as well as styling can be applied. And we've also included a way to add and include the user information that's coming from the spreadsheet within the format of the template. So that's all gonna be coming up in this lesson. And of course you can customize this as needed. So this is actually one of the most commonly asked questions that I get is first how to send an email and secondly, how I can send an email and update the spreadsheet information. Uh, so that's all included within this lesson. Let's move along from where we left off in the last lesson. We created the spreadsheet. We've got some columns of information here within the spreadsheet. We can select the content from the spreadsheet and send out an email to that selected user that's within the row that was selected. And that's what we've got with the app script so far. But this lesson, we wanna customize the content that we're sending out. So we wanna create a customized HTML message that we're sending to the user. So let's go ahead and do that. We're, we're gonna update and set the brand new HTML file. And this can just be the email template. So I'll just call it temp. And then Google does give you a starting base template. So you can use that and update that within the code. So let's uh, start with a paragraph. And you can also apply custom styling if you want, just as you would with any other front end code. Uh, so within the inline. So if you want to update the font family, so adding that as the font family, and this will just say hi, and close off the paragraph there. So we wanna add the user information into and use this as a template. So what we wanna do is we wanna select the user information, and we can do that by using the scriptlet where we're breaking back in to the scripting language and with the equal sign because we're gonna be evaluating it. So it's the user first name that we wanna include. And then uh, the next element, we can make that a div, have been approved. And then if you need to use the username, you could add that at any point using the less than sign and the question mark and the equal because we're gonna be evaluating this to be the user. So let's add in one more div. And we'll just do congrats. And then here we wanna have the user name. So first name and then the last name for the user. and then close that div. And you can, of course, customize this message as needed. Once you've completed the HTML that you want to use as a template, we wanna select that value into the app script. And I'm gonna just be using the message variable once again. So let's uh, select the template. and using the HTML service, we're gonna create. And the one that we want is create template from file because it's a separate file. And then whatever the file name is, so it's gonna be just uh, temp. So you don't have to include the HTML, just need to include the temp. And we wanna populate the information within temp. So using temp, and then we've got the user information that we wanna send through and send that in as user. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna add to the template object, the contents of user that we've sent through 
to this function as an argument and it's just adding it into the template under the user object. You could give it another name as well if you want. Uh, so this is just to keep things simple. So now we can reference the user and get the first and last name as needed within the template. So what we also want to do next is we want to create the message object. And I'm actually going to comment out that original message object as we're constructing a brand new one using the contents of the template. And we need to evaluate in order to update and populate that template information. And we want to get the content that's contained within there and send that as the message value into the, the message. So I think we're ready to try it. And let's uh, select and we'll see if we can send the email. So send the email to Lawrence6. And then go over to our emails. And there we've got the email that we've sent. So that's uh, with the styling, the set cu customized styling. And then also you've been approved. So we're using the name, the first name, and the last name. So that's how you can populate content from an HTML template. Uh, and send it as an email, and then we get that information that's contained from the spreadsheet. And so also lastly, what we wanna do as well is we wanna update the spreadsheet value that we've sent this. So let's uh, get the active sheet that we're using, and then we wanna get the range, and the range that we wanna use is gonna be within the user row. So that's already coming from here where we've selected the row that the user selected here, and we've just passed into the user object. The user object, we're passing into the send user function. Send user function's got it there within user, and that's where we're able to select the user row. And what column do we want to populate? So let's populate column number four. And then what value do we want to set within number four? So we can set a value and we're just going to set a value of sent into that. So going back into the sheet, let's try that one more time. And and let's uh, select it and test it just to see if it's working. So we're sending an email. First name is new. Last name is last name. The email address that we're sending it to is this one, the plus two. Uh, so let's see what happened. So going over to here, plus two. So we've got the styling there. We've got you've been approved, new, and last name. So it's taking all of those values. And then also within the sheet, we see that it has been updated because we effectively did send it. So you can also update the subject to whatever subject that you want. So you can customize that. That's just going to be a string value. Uh, the email is coming directly from the spreadsheet and the message is being constructed from the template. So you can also update and add different font styles. So if, for instance, you wanted to have uh, other than a font family, you can do color if you wanted as well. So let's uh, do a semicolon, do color. And this is just if you do want to have different color value there. And also, you can do font size. So you want to make it really big like that. And let's uh, try that one more time. So it's always good to test out the application just to make sure everything is working. And every time you make some updates and customize the template, then just make sure that you are also uh, testing it out just to make sure that it is functioning the way that you're expecting it to.